in one lap will restart with eight laps to go. First, down to Dick Bergeron at the Care Center. Jeff Gordon, you've just watched the replay. What happened? That's the all-star event. Uh, you know, that's just a bunch of guys racing really, really hard. Um, you know, I heard three wide right at the last second, and I, I was already wide open, um, pulling it down as much as I could. Felt like Kyle probably could give me a little bit more room, and uh, we might have been all right, but I think it was a little bit of a surprise. 39 was outside of him, too. I, think I got a bad restart, and Kyle obviously got one heck of a restart. I don't even, even know where he came from, and uh, I'm just glad that uh, it wasn't worse than that. You know, I was pretty nervous sliding across the track like that, so uh, thankfully nobody, nobody got into me, and... You know what? It was a great night for us up until that point. Oh, well. And here's another restart. Ready for the restart. Kyle Busch, Ryan Newman on the front row. Okay, so Kyle Busch goes to the outside, and they tell him, don't do that no more. It's not legal. So then he goes to the inside, and it causes a big wreck. What's he going to do now? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the lead now. <laughs> Darrell, I very rarely tell you this with eight laps to go, but you might want to reach up there and pull those belts tight <laughs> one more time. <laughs> and look at the teammates starting nose to tail in the outside column. Ryan Newman and Tony Stewart. I'll pull them any tighter, Larry. I won't be able to breathe. <laughs> Well, get a good breath, because here we go. This ought to be it. It's just eight to go. These restarts are just action-packed. Well, he's bringing them down mighty slow. And he got a whale of a jump. Look at that. Timed it just right again. That might be all it took right there. A lot less watch Newman in that 39 car. Kyle Busch actually had a good enough lead. He could go ahead and move to the top through one and two. But, Larry, I think Newman's car is hurt. I yeah. mean, he hit that outside wall hard. I'm surprised that Kyle's is as good as it is. I thought he may have had more damage. The best car without damage is the 17, but I don't know if he can uh, do anything with the, the 18 or not. Oh, yeah, smoke he's, from he's Newman. Got a tire Newman's, rub. Newman's got tire rub. And here good. comes his owner teammate, Tony Stewart, in that 14 car, seven to go. I think Kinsley probably says, I owe you something, buddy, if I can get to you. And there he is. He's there. He's to him halfway down the back straightaway. Let's see what happens in three and four. A million dollars in I, the balance. Who wants it more? I believe the seventh. Oh, he pinned him down hard, man. He didn't give him much room. Kyle Busch really took him in hard and laid on him, kept him on the bottom. But down in one and two is where Kansas is so strong. I think though the 18 gets in there and he's going to get that run off of two like we've seen all night. If that was the finish, it would have been Bush, but Kenseth pounds back on the inside, and Stewart is there. He's never won the All-Star race. He's finished second in his rookie year. Stewart in that 14 car. He better just watch these two dudes in front of him because I don't think there's a lot of love going on right there right now. Kenseth's going to get the great run off the corner. He clears the 18. That's all it took. He's gone. Halfway, five down, five to go. Five to go. Brian Newman has gone to the garage. Oh, yeah, look at that 17 motor, but here comes, hey, look at the smoke. Now, he can run the bottom. And that was on the bottom. He got that run, Darrell, halfway down the back straightaway. Let's see who Caution goes where. Debris. Yellow. Caution debris. for what? Debris. What? Debris, right here. debris in turn three. Oh. It's just under caution. Man. This is getting good. Now you can breathe for a Save second. Fuel. Go. Fuel. Oh. Well, what now, that? you know what? What would, what would make your car faster than everybody else's, Larry? Less, Less fuel. weight. So Less that, means, fuel. that means that on that 10-minute break, they didn't get real aggressive dumping fuel didn't in Didn't put any car. more in it than needed. Who lost a race over here because of that? Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon. So save fuel. <laughs> Everything comes into play. Every strategy that you can think of comes into play. Now, again, we go back to the last completed lap under green. And that will shuffle the order just a bit. Kenseth the leader, Bush second, and Stewart third. The last time they crossed the line under green, that's how they were running. Yeah, I think this is bad news for Matt Kenseth because he's going to have to deal with the 18 now on this restart. And we saw what the 18 can do. He can get some gone. Well, let's show you the last two restarts. And we're running out of laps for him to catch up and pass somebody. This, this is classic right it's here. It's unbelievable. Look at him wiggle, wobble his way right through there. You know, Daryl and I concluded that Kyle Busch is probably the only one that could get by with that. Then we concluded he's the only one that would try <laughs> to do that. And then there's his last one. And look at the lead he's got there. Yeah, Ryan Newman's car would not take off. It did get quite a bit of damage. 
to the right side and has since gone to the garage. Jimmy Johnson is in the pit lane along with Casey Kane and Brad Keselowski. You know, we got a new player up there in that top five, too. Kyle Busch's teammate, Denny Hamlin, is up to fifth in that 11 car. But, Larry, it's if, what is there, five laps to go? Five to go. So, I, I tell you, players are players, but we're out of time. Right. And, uh, you know, if Kyle could get a great restart here, they can make it miserable for Matt Kenseth. I just believe the guy we have not heard the last of is that cat back there in third, Tony Stewart in that 14th. Oh, we know how bad he wants to win a race driving for Stuart Haas Racing, even if it's the all-star race. He was strong right there just before that caution came out. Really strong. He must have put on a little extra Old Spice tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's going out on the town when this baby's over with. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88 car. Yeah. He's recovered nicely back up to six. Pit to go this time by. from the first race, Carl Edwards up to seventh. Check with Matt. And Kyle Busch's biggest complaint, like the car just plowing this final segment. In fact, a few moments ago, he just keyed the mic and said, you know, I really don't know what we can do. I'm half tempted just to pull up and, and bounce the right side off the wall to see if maybe we can just move things around a little bit. And Steve Addy just said, I don't believe that's going to get us where we need to get it. <laughs> no, no. He did that in the truck race at Martins. We went down the wall, down the back straight and slammed it up against the wall to push the quarter panel back in. But I, I think he's probably got more damage and on that right knows. front than he knows. Yes. Look at this. You tell me these fellows don't want a piece of a million dollars. They're all up on the wall. No, no, no. You know what they're ready for? The fight. <laughs> <laughs> and look at them. They're pretty big boys. You think it is short track Saturday <laughs> no, night? No, I guarantee you. All the other rules indicate it, right? Yeah, you got Kyle Busch's crowd down there, and you got Tony's crowd up here. Poor old Matt. I don't know what he's going to do. Well, they've got a bird's eye view just past the start finish line, and we've got five laps to go. A Let's long night of celebration. Let's see. And competition. All waiting to see what happens for the last five there laps. There you go. That's what I'm talking about right here. Restrain my boys. 1989. Hammond told me you go on in the pits. We'll take care of this. We just wanted to tell them we need to do a little cleaning on their uniforms. If Kyle Busch's car is pushing, what can he do against Matt Kenseth right here? He just got. He has no options. He go just go as hard as you can and hope maybe Kenseth doesn't get a good restart. Maybe Tony gets uh, in a race with Kenseth. All he's got to buy is a couple of laps. 